Ladies and gentlemen, non-binary, any he, she, they, thems, I decided to put that in because everyone on my channel is welcome. This is a lion mask. And the cat. And in today's video, we are going to be reacting to extreme ways people have quit. Extreme. And this is going to be a compilation. So we're going to see how these people quit their jobs. We are also going to be doing ratings from 1 to 10. I'm going to be explaining. It is up to the cat if he wants to explain his ratings. But um, I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Until then, here we go. Jared, I'm here to tell you that I'm quitting. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just funny. <laughs> oh God, I give him a nine. I give him a, a seven. I mean, it's it's funny, but is it extreme? Kind of, but. Uh, I give him a nine because you got to think like he had to hire people or, you know, these could be his friends. Ask his friends like, hey, guys, I'm about to quit my job. Can you play your instruments? I think they're doing it like right at his face, too. Yeah, that is pretty. So I give him a nine. You said a seven. Yeah, I think a seven. <laughs> All right. Next video. Or, you know, whatever the video shows up. Today we got these motherfucking nuts. <laughs> 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 these nuts. You, fuck you, you're cool, fuck you, you're cool, there's my fucking bag. Here's a good can, go fuck yourself. I'm out. True, 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 true. That's it. You out of here, Curtis? Go. That was the entire cat. Um, I'll give him a six. The joke was funny. The nuts joke was chuck was funny. Telling everybody to fuck off, and or he's saying one person was cool, and that beer chug was really good. He, he did that movie, he's like, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool. <laughs> that, that was pretty funny. Also got a, a D's nuts chugs in there. That, <laughs> and they're like, I, it was badass, I think, it, but was it extreme? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to give him like a, like a six, yeah, six and a half. Six and a half? Yeah. I say six, he it, say I six mean, and a half. I mean, it was like pretty savage, pretty badass, but... Extreme, nah, it's kind of tame. <laughs> All right. That's it. I told the superstar I quit. Oh, Ooh. dude, dude, this dude just jumped off the fucking second story. Oh my god, we gotta watch an instant replay. <laughs> I think he j he bounced. Look at the way he bounced on the freaking boxes. Is this? Ooh. Oh, that sounded like it fucking hurt. Oh, God. He had to break something. That hurt. He bounced. He... I don't know if he was thinking those boxes were going to be a soft landing for him. Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, who was... Yeah, how... who would just jumps on like that? Like, that's extreme, bro. If this was... If this was a rating between extreme, I'll give him a 10. But with personal feeling, I give him a 4 because that was going too far. That wasn't just quitting a job. That was quitting your life. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. Same. It's really extreme, but like, oh, dude, why? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah I got to go with, like, the same. Like, let's go with three. The three? Yeah. <laughs> Very lower. All right, let's, this next one. It is why I, the actual owner of the Alaska Cannabis Club, will be dedicating all of my energy toward fighting for freedom and fairness, which begins with legalizing marijuana here in Alaska. Yay, weed. this job, well... Not that I have a choice, but fuck it, I quit. <laughs> she said, "Fuck it off." This is on TV, yeah. This is just on TV. She did that on national TV. Damn, she owns this business, and she's like, "Hey, you know what? I want to focus my time and energy on this job." So, um, for this one, fuck, fuck it, it, I quit. I, quit. <laughs> I give her an eight. No, I have never once seen anyone say the F word on television. Because reports are supposed to be all like professional and shit. <laughs> they, so, didn't, they didn't even beep it. <laughs> I don't think they had time to beep it because it, mm -hmm. it was probably live. Ooh, what about you? What would you give her? Oh, you know, seven. A seven? <laughs> yeah. That was a little... I mean, it, it's pretty tame, like fuck it, but for like, you know, a new kind of extreme, but... Nah, I think seven is not too extreme. Mm, give or take. <laughs> yeah. Ed just walks off. Right, Mic wait. drop. 
Ever. You, you could hear that mic drop. <laughs> Apologize for that. Her friend just trying to be like, oh, my bad. Sorry for the bad quality. That's not from me, guys. That's, I don't even know if you guys can see that. Yeah, they they use a potato camera, man. <laughs> Back in the old days. <laughs> Back in the old days, our camera didn't come like high megapixels and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, like, fuck you said on the PA system, like, fuck this place. Like, I'm out, bitches. He was proud of that. Um, I honestly want to say a three. That's pretty savage, but it was it extreme? Nah. No. I'm ready to four. I'll say three because, you know, sure, he said it in the PA and, you know, he said all he could, but um, to me, that's kind of a job risk. Like, future job, they're going to, like, call this place and be like, hey, would you recommend him? Uh, no, he just used our PA to cuss in the microphone he mismanaged uh, company equipment exactly so yeah uh, what did i say three or four oh fucking no. i don't remember <laughs> i don't remember it's under <laughs> five if it's, uh, if it's under uh, five it's just bad. rewind a video <laughs> yeah, fuck <laughs> no. hey, g i quit that's because you're a horrible employer uh you're a good person i appreciate everything you've ever done for me but I quit, G. This place fucking sucks. That was pretty tame. I don't know. I'm sorry. That was kind of a little disappointing. Yeah, it was, was I it? say too. Same. It's kind of lame. Not like you're like, eh, I like you do, but you just drop kind of sucks. He, he just said like a normal person would yeah. say it, to be honest. I, I don't mean, know. Me personally, I just straight up said I quit. <laughs> yeah, it just, it just didn't feel extreme. It's not extreme. You're like, to the max. <laughs> I don't know. I was expecting like fucking Red Bulls, fucking people just jumping off of cliffs. Right. <laughs> like, like throwing a freaking parade or something. Or, yeah, something. I don't fucking know. Oh, that one video where the dude jumped off the thing was pretty extreme, yeah, though. That was a, that's <laughs> why I say I give him a 10 for extreme. <laughs> but for what he did, <laughs> dude almost went. <laughs> I fucking quit. Fuck this place. Oh shit. Fuck you, Ty. I fucking quit. Fuck you. Bye -bye. Okay, now he's going savage mode. Make sure you're cool. Fuck this place. This place fucking sucks. It sucks. I hate it. Ooh. Fuck it. Hey, how y'all doing? I fucking quit. My job <laughs> sucks and I hate it. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Fuck this place. I'm out. Okay. Maybe we should do ratings after the video. <laughs> right? Because they went from like lame to like fuck it that was pretty badass i'll give him a six i upgrade him to a six now <laughs> uh yeah i'll do the same upgrade him to a six i don't know what rating i did before i forgot I think we both said two uh <laughs> yeah probably because we both thought it was lame <laughs> <laughs> oh this is got a dirt bike the fuck <laughs> Here. Where is he? He was running around in a damn dirt bike inside of Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are all like two of these already been Walmart? <laughs> uh, Another Walmart. <laughs> I give him a one because first of all, we don't even know if that was a quit video. You just see a guy ride around in a dirt bike. Honestly, yeah, I mean. Dirt bikes, Red Bulls, kind of what I wanted to see, but I never heard the guy say I quit. Exactly. I don't think that was a I, I think quit he was video. a quit. I think it's more of a fire because the guy recording like, oh, he's done. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's more of a he got fired instead of he got instead of he quit. Yeah. I never heard the words I quit. So. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna. This one's like, mm, nah, he didn't. I give him a one. I give him a two. All right, this guy What's, next is one. Is he wearing boots? Yeah, it looks like boots. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, my man, what you doing, bro? I think he's he's working at Walmart too, and he's wearing. Oh shit! Let's see how this works. Out. 
What? Why is all of these at Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta feel like like all these videos are gonna be just Walmart. Yeah, people don't like working at Walmart, from what I hear. Well, apparently not. Walmart. <laughs> He's like fuck Walmart. <laughs> Ooh. No, I feel his rage, man. You ever been to Walmart? Like all their fucking carts suck. <laughs> they do. Like there's like it's... they literally have no, zero working carts. You go to like Target or some other shit. Like they got some really nice carts. Exactly. They have smooth rides. Like every Wal fucking Walmart car, like the shit is all dinged up. The wheels like, are like looks like someone fucking like bit at it. <laughs> yeah, it's like the or, fuck. Or you get that one that squeaks so beyond loud, so everyone's oh, yeah. just staring at you. Oh, uh, you got the one where like. The one of the wheels never touches the ground. It just like keeps spinning and spinning oh, and spinning God. and spinning in place. And you're like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> or you got like the one like the, the like the looks like someone put glue on the wheels. They don't hardly turn, so you're just dragging the damn thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, right. oh damn, he dinged someone's car. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, but fuck all my and Cartman got me out here picking up car. Look at those boots! Dude, I'm sorry, but look at those boots! Uh, I think he wore like his, his uh, girlfriend's or sister's or somebody's I think it, I think he's just mad right now and, you know, he works at Walmart. That's right. not really a good combination. Yeah, if you're walking around all day, you probably shouldn't be wearing boots. Wear some sneakers or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> I quit, matter of fact. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Man, dude is struggling. <laughs> Damn, look at how he's doing the dance. <laughs> that, was, that was fucking hilarious. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. I'm determined between an 8 or a 9. It was funny. It was extreme. It had everything. The boots. It had the boots. <laughs> Nah, them boots were fugly, man. I'm going to give them a 7. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give them an 8. That, that shit was... It was a little extreme, but it was a little funny. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> and a little bit extreme, yeah. I got a truck here. I ain't got shit done. Uh, they only give us 30 minutes to open up. I was promised a raise, never got that. And now I got tickets piling up and we just fucking open and nothing is fucking prepped and everything is made from scratch. You know, honestly, so when I used to work at a McDonald's, I had the opening shift, which means, you know, I got to get, basically, I got to do what this guy is doing is basically get open stuff. ready. Yeah. The night shift people, their job is to clean up the restaurant, you know, make sure the, the floors are clean, the kitchen stuff is clean. But then do shit, right? The trash is up. No, dude, I am not, sh not kidding you. One day... This was basically almost an everyday thing, but no, this one particular day, we had, our trash can was basically a giant fucking mountain in the oh, back. Oh, damn. And I didn't do it. I was like, no, this is the fucking night shift problem. They were supposed to throw that shit last night, and they didn't do shit. Why didn't they do shit? They were literally given at least an hour to clean up. And it wasn't just like, you know, one person cleaning everything. Like, no. We have the kitchen people cleaning up the kitchen. We have the front people cleaning up the front people. And we, it's like everyone had one specific job, but that one person decided no. So I'm kind of understanding this guy is pain right now. Right. So, boss man, here's another thing. I'm quitting, and when I come back up to get my check, it better fucking all be there because I've been keeping track of my hours this time. You fuck me on my hours, you tell me, oh, well, we had to duck this, we had to duck that. I swear to fucking God, dude. Fuck with me. You've already locked my hours in half. I got three kids, a fucking dog, a house. I got bills out the yin yang. I mean, honestly, the dog is kind of an option thing. If getting True. a pet, I don't want to like discourage, disrespect, or say anything, but getting a pet is an option. Of. Uh, uh, I, I don't know the right words to say it, but it's like I understand like hey, you know you got a wife you got kids Those are your primary. I have a cat Just right there sleeping, sleeping. <laughs> That's always his favorite spot the fans know I have a lizard too, but it's like hey 
The reason why I have these things is like I know I can take care of them. Right. That's, that's like the only reason why you, you people should people move like, up. That sounds a little racist, honestly. <laughs> people might take it right away. Is that when it comes to owning a pet, a pet, it's because you have the necessity, the time, and the knowledge of taking care of your pets. Right. Otherwise, it's like if you don't have any of those things, don't even bother with the pet. One girl says the same thing about children. Hey, if you can't afford to feed them, don't have them. But then, well, I wouldn't really say that too, because like, what if like you know they did have a job that's paying them good, and all oh, of a sudden, true. all of a sudden they end up getting cut back, or their company end up shutting right. down. So it's like, eh. plus pets, they only last for four hours, right, cat? Look at that, he's crazy. Doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, we'll give you this, we'll give you that, motherfucker. You need to quit going back on your goddamn word. Is what you need to do. So. All this stuff that needs to, you know, finish getting done, you got a prep list a mile long. I suggest you hurry up and get the fuck here because I'm leaving. Fuck with me. Again, I understand his pain. Right. People who's not doing their job, it screws with the next people. That's always a fucked up thing. Um, I'll give him a seven because I feel his pain. I understand his anger. Was it extreme? Eh, that's why I went with seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give him like a six and a half. It, it's not that extreme. Uh, uh, and he did kind of have a point, you know, where he's like frustrated that uh, nothing is being prepared. He's got a really short time to prepare everything. <laughs> so I can understand his frustration too. Oh, this guy looks like he's a little excited to quit. <laughs> so let's see how he does this. All right, let's play the video. <laughs> Who's that taking off a trip? <laughs> oh my god! Are those like the work pants they provided him? What is this? Put is this put like England or something? Cause they got like funny little accents. Probably. Oh yeah, did you see? There was a little. A I didn't see it. A little British flag. So you go back. I'm not trying to go back too much. Right there. Oh uh, yeah. See, I knew it. Like they, their voice sounded a little funny. So <laughs> they're from the UK. Well, I'm trying to look at the inside of their cars. Oh yeah. Look, see. Yeah. New or, look, yeah. Up on time. Yeah. It's like yeah, this is England. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say that's his boss. No, maybe just another worker. Probably he just ran around. Oh, <laughs> Dude just was strolling around in his fucking underwear. That <laughs> that was pretty extreme. I'll I'd give say. him a. I'll give him an eight. That was a good one. <laughs> I'll give him a nine. He was running around in his fucking skivvies. That, <laughs> that's pretty extreme. Yeah, that takes some balls to do, honestly. <laughs> it's just um, running around like that. I'll I'll give him an eight. <laughs> this looks like a McDonald's. Yeah, I want to say it is. I need to talk to the manager. Oh uh, yeah, it is McDonald's. See the little logo. Yeah. You fucked up my order. Give me the manager now. I fuck up your order. You did fuck up my order. I didn't your order. That shit is funny because you, I you guys sit here. You guys sit here. Just name my Okay, so we got Karen over here yeah. complaining about the order. So side rant, okay? People, I worked at McDonald's for five years. I get it. We mess up on your orders, but it's like, come on, you know, you don't need to. Like, Get in, like we just Get killed extra, your child. Right. Yeah. Just be like, oh hey, uh, you actually messed my order. Can you fix it? Exactly. Like, like we'll if, take if, care uh, of it. Yes, nicely they'll take care of it. And might add in a little extra. Exactly. Shit, we'll I've, take care I've of had you. that happen where like they met. So I've uh, been at McDonald's. They messed up my order. I'll be like, oh, uh, I'm uh, sorry. I actually ordered this. I'll show them the receipt and everything. Like. And they'll remake it, and then they'll throw in like an extra side of fries or like a cookie or something. Exactly. Just, I just be nice about it. 
I don't understand why people like her. It's like, hey, I said I want, I didn't want men. Why the fuck is that man? It's like, okay, why are you going that far? You don't need to go that right. far. Or sometimes you could just rip the damn thing off. It's, you know, before I worked at McDonald's, I thought that was like the thing. Like, you know, you order whatever you want. And then whatever it's in that food, and if you don't like it, you take it out yourself. But I guess no, that's you could have it your way. You could uh, customize it any way. <laughs> so okay, so funny funny story. When I was when I worked at McDonald's, I did the drive through once. I did a little experiment on a customer. So this one guy, he pulled up. You know, he had like, oh, can I get this? Can I get that? Can I get large fries? So, you know, I got his food, gave it to him, he ate the fries, and he's like, can I get some fresh fries? And normally when people ask that, we have to say yes. Apparently we have to say yes. So this is the test I did. I took his fries, I went to the fry counter, stood there for at least 10 seconds, went back to the drive-thru, gave him the exact same fries that he gave me. He ate one and he's like, all right, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes they can't tell the difference. They just want to like feel superior. Like, oh, I want fresh fries. Like, mm, I don't know. That's like, get off your fucking high horse. <laughs> right? You guys sit here and charge two twelve for two double cheese, and there's only one fucking piece of cheese on my burger. Oh man, yeah. this is this is pre-COVID, before the inflation. Two McDoubles for two dollars, two twelve. <laughs> Damn, that shit's like one sum, one twenty nine now. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like this is pre-COVID days, bruh. Things were the golden when days. When a McDouble was a dollar, now McDouble's like like nearly like two dollars now. Yes. Oh, is it three dollars? No, I think the double cheeseburgers are like three dollars. Yeah, now. and the McDouble's like two something, oh, just God, for one. Have... They used to have a cheeseburger for a dollar, then they raised it to like one twenty five. I don't know, if you talk to the people that are older than us, they'll be like, they used to be at a quarter. Yeah, so like, it's uh, kind of like inflation. Like, she complained about two McDoubles costing two twelve. It's like, like, lady, that would cost you five dollars now. No, exactly. <laughs> don't complain, shit. I got that double cheeseburger. Because you crazy as fuck and I just gave your shit high. <laughs> All right, you can get I'm crazy as shit. <laughs> Bitch, let me talk to your manager. Back. I'm now. Crazy. Manager. Manager ain't coming to your Either give me the uh, manager or having fun. Get the hire manager, your choice. The hire manager? What, what the hire manager is? Did he say he quit, though? I don't think he said he quit. I don't know. We kind of have to replay it. <clears throat> I don't think he said he quit. Um, yeah. I'll give him a eight. That was... He did. He it, did cuz. He made it funny. I thought it was amusing. <laughs> yeah, I'm going like seven and a half, yeah. <laughs> Although I don't know sure if he quit or not, but he was having a good time yeah. and not taking any of her shit. So you know, good job. Was it extreme? Mm, not really, but it was, pre it was a pretty good video. <laughs> All right, a bonus clip. So I'm guessing this is the final clip, and then we'll see how this works out. I was kind of hoping someone would be like, "I quit," and they just grab like ice cream and just like, Ch -ch -ch. <laughs> "I quit," and then storm off like that. I was, I was kind of hoping for some shit like that. <laughs> hey, I'm George. My first day here. Oh, <laughs> just right? got fucking uh, lands on his head. <laughs> I'm just like I don't know. I'm supposed to be in produce. I'm kind of just dicking around though. Nice. Yeah, my bad. Uh, actually, that, that wasn't that, really a quit video. I think that last one around. I don't think was a quit video. That actually seems like a. I think it was the Nelk Boys or something. Yeah, like, I think he was just like fucking It's like around. a prank video. Yeah, I think I've seen videos like that where like people dress like employees. From like different stores and then just try and fuck around. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, non-binaries, every type of people, furries, things, whatever you guys want to call yourselves. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is a lion mask and the cat signing off. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, all the jazz. Peace out.